Okay, so that, I think that sounds right. Yeah, definitely. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I just have to check the technology. <clears throat> because we have lots of technical things going on, and, you know, those technical things sometimes can be a little... A little temperamental. So, just doing Facebook and YouTube these days. Sort of pause on the Instagram feed. Hmm. I'll figure out what I'm going to do. But um, Zoom coming soon. Dirty from my run. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Went for a little run today. Felt good. My knee is still giving me a little slight little bit of trouble. It's not 100%. And I want it to be 100%. So, how are you? How are you doing? Are you okay? Happy Tuesday. So today I thought, Tuesdays, we don't have to worry about any runner stuff. We don't have to worry about anything. So we can do what one of the things I like to do, which is handstands. And we're going to have a handstand workshop. I'll be posting this information today and over the course of the next week and two. Um, September 26th. So if you're watching this live or before September 26th, 2020, then um, get ready. Saturday afternoon, 2 to 4 p.m. West Coast, 5 to 7 p.m. East Coast, handstand workshop. Myself and my friend Greg Luganis, four-time Olympic gold medalist, he and I will be leading it together. Go to the studio. I don't know if we're going to be able to we might be able to have one or two people in the studio, so you can kind of get a feel and a vibe of that, but you can tap in virtually. We'll actually have um, everybody on a little screen and we'll be able to see people or, you know, you have questions and tap in. And there'll be sort of virtual workshop via Zoom. So uh, there will be interaction as well, <clears throat> which will be fun to get people going upside down and, and having fun and working on getting over your fear and working on building the strength that it takes. And so today I thought in honor of that, which is going to be in, uh, like I said, about a week and a half from now, just over that, um, there will, we may as well practice a little bit first, right? Let's practice a little bit first. So um, if you're just joining us for the first time, these classes are done on a donation basis. So you can Venmo me directly at Teddy McDonald on Venmo, or you can go to fivepointyoga.com and you can pay for your class through Mind Body, or you can, there's a little link down there if you scroll down the homepage, and uh, you could do a $15 suggested donation for your online class. And of course, that's only if you are in the financial, have the financial ability to do it. There's also a couple ways to become a monthly member, and you can do that on consciousendurance.com. Go there, there's a, there's a membership, and uh, scroll down and you can pick one of those. And then you get access to different kinds of, different kinds of things. Um, so that's my plug for the day. It's a beautiful day here. The, I ran and the, um, it's a little bit smoky um, in the sky, but not in the, in the air. And the air quality actually was 55 when I went, which is on the, on the good side. It's, it's supposed the air quality number is supposed to be 50 or below to be good. And anything above 50 is moderate. I think it's 50 to 100 or something like that. That's moderate. So it was 55 this morning when I went for my run. I didn't. I don't smell any kind of smoke, which is which is good. But the sky is a little bit gray and hazy and kind of smoky. So I hope it's clear where you are. I hope you're having a good day. And let's go ahead and begin. Bring the palms together. Close your eyes. Relax your shoulders. Start breathing in and out of your nose. First moment or two. Set your intention. Intention to release some stress, to heal, to strengthen, whatever that is for you that makes sense. Let's do a few deep breaths. So go ahead and inhale as deeply as you can. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Holding that breath in. Slowly exhale. 
keep exhaling, keep exhaling, keep exhaling. Holding the breath out when you're empty of breath. Inhale again deep. Holding the breath in. Exhale. Keep exhaling, keep exhaling, keep exhaling. Holding the breath out. Inhale again deep, one more. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Holding the breath in. And exhale. Good, arms up, inhale. Always nice just to take a few deep breaths and let the um, interlace the fingers, turn the palms up to the ceiling, straighten the arms, stretch the shoulders. Always nice to just take a few deep breaths and relax the nervous system a bit. Breathe. Abdomen strong, breath smooth, come up on the toes. Coming up on the toes here, breathing deeply. Good, and for you balancing on your toes, slowly, 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 start to drop down, and then fold over to one side. Easy side stretch. Shoo, do 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 Ah, oh, switch sides. Oh, I finally, oh, excuse me. finally decided <laughs> Lauren was like you work out every single day sometimes two three four times a day you know maybe you should see somebody about your knee <laughs> I thought what what <laughs> lean back take a big inhale and then fold down forward exhale so I'm making an appointment to see somebody you know these somebodies that I see my my team of people um, help keep my body intact you know they can just help me heal a little that's the idea oh hang forward stretch I am a little sore from yesterday's workout I like it though I like being sore just a little bit not too much but a little sore every day I think that's a good thing except Sunday now Sunday uh, well it could be sore Sunday from Saturday <laughs> Clasp the hands back, interlace the fingertips, stretch the shoulders. But a little soreness every day means that your body is in a state of generation or regeneration, depending on how you look at it, right? But always rebuilding. That's good. That's what growth is. You're building. Keeps you young. Drop the head, stretch and breathe. One more breath, give it a good stretch. And release the arms and roll back up slowly. And a few arm circles. One arm, big circles here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Oh, ten, excuse me, side to side. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Nine and ten, good. Feet together, front of the mat, palms together. Big inhale, lift the arms up. Oh. Fall down, forward, exhale. Extend the spine, inhale. Look forward, step back, exhale. This here, plank, high, push-up, plank, high plank, whatever you want to call it, top of a push-up, is essentially handstand, right? I mean, here you are holding your body up with your arms. So think about this. 
as the beginning of handstand. Chaturanga in a moment, but first just feel stable. Abdomen really strong, shoulders extend. The strength that, that comes from your upper body here is what you want from the arms. Now lower halfway, bend the elbows, and then push up, and again, push up, and again, push up. Two more. One more. Good, drop to the knees. Cat and cow tilts for the spine. Look at this crazy, crazy fuzzy. Got a fuzzy. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Couple more. <sighs> Excuse me. Good, one more. All right, side to side, lift the feet. One side, other side, other side, other side, other side, other side, other side, couple more, other side, other side, one more. Each side. <laughs> Good down dog. Take a moment, bend the left leg, push the right heel down, big stretch. I have to say, some of those hamstring classes from last week, I think it was Friday, Saturday, so good. Just felt a lot more openness in the back of the legs. Bend the right leg. I know it's kind of like tooting my own horn, I guess, but I just, my body feels good from that sequence. I hope yours does too. If you didn't, you can always go back and take a look if you didn't do them. Good, straighten both legs. Uh, so think about, speaking of hamstrings, when you're in down dog, fingers are spread, palms are flat down, so knuckles. Oftentimes people raise their knuckles. Knuckles flat down on the floor. Drop the head so hands are in between the shoulders. That could be hard for someone with tighter shoulders, tighter upper back. But then notice my knees are slightly bent. I'm lifting the tailbone up. Right? Lifting the tailbone up, extending the shoulders, then pressing the thighs back and the heels down a little bit. Breathe. Good. Come up on the toes, walk softly to the hands. Extend that spine as you inhale, look forward, fold as you exhale, stretch all the way up. Nice big inhale. Hands to the heart, exhale. Arms up, inhale, fold forward, exhale, extend that spine, inhale, step back, or jump, you can only step first when we take easy, lower to the knees, then to the floor, easy, cobra pose for your back bend, and then downward facing dog, you just reverse it, down dog, hold, breathe, fingers spread, palms flat, breath smooth. Good. Up on the toes again. Walk or hop. Extend that spine. Inhale. Fold down. Exhale. All the way up. Nice big inhale. Hands to the heart. Exhale. Two more. Arms up. Inhale. Fold down. Exhale. Extend the spine. Inhale. Step or jump. Exhale. Upward facing dog. That's different than cobra pose. Downward facing dog, so you're not touching the floor then. Downward facing dog, breathe. If you go to the floor every time, start to work in a little chaturanga to upward facing dog instead of going to the floor. I right? build the strength that it takes to do that. Up on the toes right away. Walk or hop. Extend that spine as you inhale. Fold as you exhale. All the way up, nice big inhale. Hands to the heart. Exhale, arms up, inhale, fold down, exhale, extend that spine as you inhale, look forward, step or hop, chaturanga, upward facing dog, maybe chaturanga again, though, since we're going to throw in a bunch of arm balances and handstands, I recommend you don't do that extra 
chaturanga unless you're feeling super strong or energetic. Couple breaths, downward facing dog. Remember creating space. So it's all about lengthening. One more breath. And then up on the toes again. Walk or hop. Extend the spine as you inhale, fold as you exhale. Chair pose this time, bend the knees, reach the arms. Chair pose, let's do 30 seconds. We're not gonna do so many legs today. Breath smooth, even. 15 seconds. Good, one more inhale. Sink low, and then stand up, hands together at the heart. Big full breath. Just that builds a little heat for me. And then we're just gonna go right into a flow, save a little time so we can work after. So chair pose, first inhale. Sun salutation, B fold down, exhale. Halfway up, inhale, you could step or jump back, exhale, vinyasa, remember, all the way to the mat, or halfway down, gentle inhale, lifting up, exhale, down dog, right side, take it up, bring it forward, warrior one, reach up, you can take this first one a little bit easier, right, let it come to you, normally we take a full practice run, and we do the shoulder stretch, vinyasa, to down dog, left side, take it up, bring it forward, warrior one. <clears throat> I'm just saving a couple minutes here because I don't wanna get to some other things. Downward facing dog, hold it and breathe. So remember that vinyasa you do as intensely as you want or as easy as you want. Uh, most importantly, breathe. One more breath. Up on the toes again, walk or hop. Lengthen as you inhale, fold as you exhale. Chair pose from there, inhale. Stand up, hands together at the heart, exhale. Big full breath. Chair pose when you're ready, inhale. Fold, exhale. Halfway up, inhale. Step or jump back. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Down dog, right leg first, take it up. Bring it forward. Warrior one, reach up, inhale. Hands down, leg back, lower. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left side, take it up, bring it forward. Warrior one, reach up, inhale, hands down, leg back, lower, all the way to the mat or not, inhale, easy, exhale, down dog, hold it, breathe, simple movements, just relax the breath, feel how you feel right now, same movements we've been doing for thousands of years and the reason why we keep doing them up on the toes is because we change walk or hop halfway up as you inhale fold as you exhale chair pose bend the knees reach the arms inhale stand hands together at the heart exhale right we're different sleep is better diets better rest is better stress is less all kinds of different things go into how we feel. Chair pose, inhale. The atmosphere, fold, exhale. Halfway up, inhale. Step or hop. Turn around now. We're doing two more of these, by the way. Oh, mistakenly threw in a little extra chaturanga. Right leg, take it up, bring it forward. <laughs> Warrior one, inhale, hands down. Leg back, vinyasa. 
Upward facing dog pose. Down dog, left side, take it up, bring it forward. Warrior one, back foot flat, inhale. Stretch the body. Hands down. Leg back, lower. Could go all the way. Easy inhale, down dog, exhale. Starting to warm up a little bit, I hope. A few breaths. Good, one more breath. Up on the toes again. Walk or jump forward. <laughs> Halfway up. As you inhale, fold as you exhale. Chair pose from there, inhale. Stand, hands together at the heart. Exhale, nice big full breath. Back to chair, inhale. Chair pose, fold down. Exhale. And halfway up, inhale. Step or jump back, exhale. Vinyasa. Right leg, take it up. Bring it forward. Warrior one, reach up, <clears throat> inhale. Hands down, leg back. Vinyasa, lower. Upward facing dog. Down dog, right, uh, left side, take it up, bring it forward, warrior one, reach up, hands down, leg back, lower, all the way or halfway, easy inhale, and this time before down dog, let's just go to the floor, I'm going to stretch the shoulders a little bit here, clasp the hands back behind you, interlace the fingers, drive those shoulders back, lift the upper body up, Shoulders up, chin down, breathe deeply. Good, one more breath, give it a good stretch. Good, and then release that. Child's pose, just for a moment. Child's pose. Good. Downward facing dog for a moment. Just take a moment and stretch. Bend the left leg, push the right heel down. Big stretch. Switch sides, stretch. Side arm balance. Come forward. Roll to the outside of the left foot. Right arm up. Hold it here, breathe. Abdomen strong, lifting the hips, breathing deeply. Flexing both feet. One more inhale. Switch it. Opposite side. And again, building some shoulder strength here. Breathe. Hips up a little taller, one more breath. Good. Come on back down, downward facing dog. Good, breathe. Right away, drop to the knees again. We're gonna do this little fingertip thing. We did this, I think it might have been Saturday, I forget. But this is definitely one of the only things I've ever invented in yoga. <laughs> Everything else is taken from some other people some other person but for the most part this is it this is my thing right here <laughs> the one thing that I can say I created this all right so from here you want to just hold if you feel okay feel a little stronger you could tuck the toes straighten the legs back a lot harder so hold it breathe Still comfortable, it's chaturanga. Strengthening those fingertips. Good. Push up, drop to the knees. 
Ay, 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 ay. Stretch the fingers. Stretch the fingers as wide as they go. Fingers are super, super stretched. Then you're going to push the knuckles down and stretch those fingers and breathe. Good. Then sit back. Flex the hands a little bit. Shake them out. And then up again, same thing on the fingers. Abdomen really strong. Tucking the toes, maybe straightening the legs back. Breath smooth. So not only are we strengthening the fingers here, but you also have your handstand situation in your shoulders and arms. Chaturanga if you want. Last few breaths. Good push up. Drop to the knees. Excellent. Stretch those fingers again. Stretch them, stretch them, stretch them. Push down and push up. So down into the knuckles, lifting the heel of the hands up, breathing deeply. Good. Sitting back from there. Shake him out a little bit. Oh. Good. All right. First arm balance. Crow. Set the hands. Lean in. Balance. A few breaths. Feel what it feels like to sway a little, move side to side, all right? Work the arms straight, bend the arms. Arms straight, bend the arms, side to side. Come off it. So the idea is to start to play with how you are in the poses, okay? If you feel like you can jump back, do that. Otherwise, go ahead and step back. We'll take a vinyasa and go to down dog. But if you can jump, here you are, and then hop. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, easy, downward facing dog. Right leg up behind you, bring it all the way forward. You're gonna stay on the back toes today. Stay on the back toes, crescent. Coming up, arms up, shoulders relaxed, breath smooth. Deep, deep stretch in that front side hip flexor. Shoulders relax. Breathing deeply. Arms out to the side. Lift the upper body up. Good. Look forward. Lean forward. Step into warrior three. Hold warrior three. Not too long. A few breaths. And then open up that left hip so your right hand comes down. And again, not a long standing sequence today, but here's half moon, few breaths, stacking the hips, left hip up on top of that right hip. If your balance is comfortable, you're looking up at the top thumb. Breathe. Look down from there, come on back up. Left hand down, right arm up. Shoo, good do, good do, good. Lengthen that upper body. Oh, this is where the tight hamstrings come in. Breathe deeply. Good. One more inhale. Twist it. We're going to do seated twist. Seated twist. Bend both knees. Hook that left knee outside that right foot. Come on and turn this way. Hug the legs. Sit up tall. Give it a big hug. And you should feel that stretch in that hip flexor there. I mean, the outer hip. Sit up tall, breathe. It's a good stretch. Then lean back, left arm up, hook it across. Check my battery. <laughs> Checking my battery level. Lean back and twist. 
Great for the spine here. Good. Now counter twist. Same deal. Good. Back to the center. Uncross those legs. Navasana from here. Lean back. Straighten the legs. Shoulders down. Arm, uh, legs straight if you can. 30 seconds. Already been 10. Abdomen strong, heart lifts up. Whoa, almost fall back, but don't fall back. Breathing deep, one more inhale. Lift and then cross the legs. You're gonna set the hands and jump back. Is this gonna work for me? This has not worked for me in a while. Hmm, let's see. Hmm, oh, oh. it's not bad. Vinyasa, back to down dog, take a moment. Then the right leg, then the left leg, push the right heel down, stretch it. Good, so now before we go to the other side, I want you to work on a little kick up here, right from downward facing dog, whichever leg you would normally kick up with, I just want you to start to kick up. This is not a handstand, this is just a practice kick up. All right. If you're more comfortable, then you can go to handstand, but it's really just to get the practice. And as you can see, right, when I'm kicking up, the idea, you know, think about geometry. The idea is to get the hips, middle thigh to kind of lower, you know, waist or lower ribs. That part of your body is super heavy relative to your hands and wrists. But now you're balancing this big body on this little tiny wrist so uh, and fingers, right? So you have to make sure it's balanced. So now we're gonna go uh, other leg. So back to down dog, whichever leg you kicked up with, it was your natural leg because you always do the natural one, the easy one first. <laughs> we all do. But now I want you to go unnatural. So for me, that's my left. It's gonna feel like brushing your teeth with the opposite hand, and that's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> All right, up, All right, up. You gotta go extra, up. It actually forces you to kind of understand, up, whoa. Forces you to understand what you're actually doing. All right, so it forces you to get, move the shoulders over the wrists, kick up into that hey. all right and breathe good all right left side take it forward stay on the back toes come into crescent pose so as you can see just <laughs> just kicking up is a, a, a workout in and of itself from here Breathe, take the arms up, crescent pose, so you're on your back toes. Shoulders are relaxed, breath is smooth. Whoa, a little unstable. Breathing. <laughs> take the arms out to the side. Oh, lift the upper body up, really stretch your right side hip flexor. One more inhale, and lean forward, step up. Warrior three, breathe. Good, now slowly open up to half moon pose. Left hand down, right arm up. Flexing that foot, pushing through the heel, breathing deeply. Looking up if your balance seems fairly stable, not necessary. 
looking down from there come on back up and then right hand down left arm up driving that back leg back lengthening the upper body forward twisting and breathing whoa Good, one more nice big inhale, twist it, and then seated twist, like before on the other side. So you're gonna bend that right leg, it goes outside your left foot, and then there's two stages, three really, but two it, it going this direction. First one, pulling this knee into the chest, sitting up tall, pulling your hip down and away from the knee. Good. Now, left leg back, or left arm back, right arm up. Hook it across. Twist and turn. Breathe. One more breath. Big twist. Good. And then flip it, lift the upper body, turn and twist. Good, uncross the legs. Back to our little core move here. Check on the knee, there we go. Yeah, I wonder. We're going to see. We're going to see. We will report to you what happens. Lift the, the leg up. Good news is that, you know, I'm pretty, pretty healthy. I can do most things. So uh, from here, I want you to take the palms together. Turn to one side. 15 seconds. Breathe. Core strength. Good. Switch sides. Good, back to the center. One more inhale, lift up. And then cross the legs, set the hands. See, there is a moment where it doesn't feel great. So I gotta go up. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Upward facing dog, and down dog. Okay, so I wanted to do the twist because I wanted to do an arm balance that is going to be in the twist. Um, from here, again, what we're going to do is take the right leg up, bring it forward. You can drop the back knee for a moment. Come up. Lift that left arm up. Get nice and tall. Sink into that hip. Sink into the hip flexor. Breathe. Lean back. One more inhale, and then you're going to cross over here, lengthen the upper body up as you twist, palms together, breathe. So you could stay here, oh hey there, hi there. <laughs> you could stay here and breathe uh, in the twist, or you could pop over to the arm balance, but first you could tuck the back toes, straighten the back leg. So from here, you can fall out to the side if you're doing the arm balance. Move your shoes out of the way and then take the arm balance and breathe. And then come down and then we'll switch it back. And then I'll we'll take a vinyasa back to downward facing dog. Upward facing dog, then downward facing dog, then your right leg goes up behind you. Is that right? Nope, your left leg goes up behind you. Bring it all the way forward. Drop the back um, knee.
come on up. Sink the hips forward first. It's amazing how quickly some of these classes go. It's like already 42 minutes in to the class. Like what the heck? Reach the arm up, lean back, breathe. I mean, we could do a full three or four hour, five hour workshop and just barely scratch the surface. <laughs> Take one more inhale, reach up, and then go ahead and come forward, cross over, lengthen, twist, bring the palms together, turn. Good. Looking down from there, tuck the back toes, straighten the back leg, lengthen up, twist and turn and breathe. Good, then from here, if you want the arm balance, lean out to the side, fall out, come on up, step that back foot closer, bend the arms. Straighten the legs. With my head in the bush. <laughs> After a few breaths, release that. Step back. Vinyasa or straight to down dog. Gently. Downward facing dog. Oh, I smell that. Oh, it's beautiful smelling plant. I don't think I've ever smelled it before. Downward facing dog. Pause there. Breathe. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our handstands here. You know, our kickups, right? So same thing as before. This time, if you wanted to move to the wall, you can go ahead and move to the wall if you wanted to for a moment. Um, but what we're going to do is first with the right leg, kick up a few times. If you're working on your balance, then you can go ahead and kick up to your wall and work on your balance. And then we'll do the left leg a few times, say five on each side. Whether you're balancing or not doesn't matter. You can at least work on the kick up. And then um, we're gonna work on two legs. All right, so first here, down dog. Maybe step the back foot a little bit closer. Right leg first for me. Looking, by the way, looking right down here. You could even put a little X, a little X. That's I'm gonna look at that X straight down for now. So I come back here, I gotta look up, and then I kick. Oh yeah, and then hold. So it's the fingertips that actually get you to hold if you're holding. So keep it up, kicking. Find the balance. Notice I'm leading with that right leg, right? And then that will help me sort of find, you can bend the knee, all right? But you're essentially leading, so for me, that's my right leg that goes up and I kind of lead forward to, to get the hips above the shoulders, above which are above the wrists. And you can feel the balance if you're working on balance. Otherwise, against the wall, you're just getting up against the wall, right? There's a lot of different stages to the handstand, but this is assuming that you're actually able to kind of kick up. And if, you're a, if you have a wall, move back foot, foot and a half from the wall to, to give yourself a little bit of extra room to play. So let's do the opposite leg, left side for me. All right, left leg up. Looking down. Oh, I gotta move my X again. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So left up. There we go. And up. Good. And up. Whoop. Sometimes you overshoot it. And that's all part of the part of teaching your body how to maneuver while you're kicking upside down, while you're upside down. So a lot of it is your body saying, oh, oh no, I'm gonna fall, what am I gonna do? 
And oftentimes people who are more flexible, I've worked with a lot of people who are more flexible, who are afraid to be away from the wall because when they kick up, they feel like they're just gonna fall into a backbend and they're not gonna be able to spin out of the handstand, which is one of the things that we're gonna work on in the workshop, um, which is falling, feeling safe falling, because oftentimes it's the fear that actually stops people from getting upside down. And we don't want that. We don't want to live in fear. That's for sure. A couple more times with the with your unnatural leg. <laughs> yeah, bah, bah, bah. yeah, so sometimes I can use the arms and the shoulders a little bit to help gain the balance. Right? And then things come together once in a while. <laughs> From there. Good. One more. This side. Almost one more. <laughs> there we go. That's it. Come on down. So now, tricky part here is going to be two legs so we can all do this and it's just a good practice to get into because it's challenging to kick up with two legs but the idea is in, and if you had a wall now i would say go a little closer to the wall if you had a wall let's pretend my imaginary wall is there you know, you'd be a little closer because you're leading now with your the, your tailbone you kind of low back is what you're leading with and i'll show you what i mean right now from here, you bend both knees, just kick up like that. All right, a little bend, kick. All right, bend. So the idea is just like before, where you're getting the hips above the shoulders, which are above the wrists. So that's the idea in getting that balance. And then once you get that up there, and you can feel a little suspended for a moment, then maybe you could work on straightening the legs. Don't worry too much about that if you're not at that point right now, but I'll show you how that looks. So basically, right, do that. And then, oops, that was a little bit, not much suspension, but <laughs> at least both legs kick up. Alrighty, one or two more. And if this, you know, if, if it, the main thing too is you definitely want to feel comfortable in your, um, what do you call it? Comfortable in your arms. Feel solid in your arms. So let's go one more. Work on your balance. Whoa! So that was a little uncontrolled. <laughs> so I prefer to have it a little bit more control. There we go. There we go. Good. All righty. That's enough. Wrist. Slowly. You can sit back on your uh, heels here, whether the toes are tucked or not. Could to tuck the toes and stretch the feet at the same time. We give the wrists a little love, a little counter stretching. So if you feel like you're having some wrist issues, then definitely um, make sure that you feel okay here. So I'm just doing some gentle, gentle wrist rolls here. <sighs> Sushi, can I get a wrist roll please? Do you want a hand roll or a wrist roll? I just want a wrist roll, please. Opposite direction. Can I have an opposite direction wrist roll, please? With some yellowtail salmon. <laughs> All right. Good. You can kind of shake them a little bit. Give them a little shake. We're gonna do 
uh, a little bit, another little wrist stretch, and I'll, I'll do it this way. I'm going to point the toes, so I'm going to sit back on my toes this way, but just so you can have an idea first, start with the back of the wrists together this way, bring them against your chest, and then gently, slowly, easily bring your elbows down, just getting that counter stretch for the wrists. Breathe. And then flip it. Same thing. If you can, back of the hands together. Ooh. Good. And then again, roll the wrists here a little bit. And we're done with the down dog and the handstand, so we're gonna just do a little back bend. Come on up into our Ustrasana, starting at the right hand to the heel, left arm up, lean back. Good, and then forward, flip it. Reach up, lean back. Good. All right, come forward. Let's go to uh, down dog for a moment. And pigeon. Bend that right leg forward. Come into pigeon pose. Just a couple breaths. Uh, let's say a minute minute on each side. There we go. And just relax for a moment. And breathe. It's just winding down. So <clears throat> the handstand workshop, which again is going to be in two Saturdays from today. Today is Tuesday. Um, it's going to be Saturday the 26th. And uh, if that's something that you're interested in, I will be posting uh, today actually on all my channels there, Instagram. I think the link is already in my bio for Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, then you can find it there and register. Um, but I'll be posting on, on Facebook and put a little video and, and we'll get it all set up, everybody. I'm very excited. This will be the first. We're going to start doing monthly, at least monthly workshops. Mm, and some feedback from you guys find out what kind of workshops you want to do I'm going to put a little list if you're not part of our conscious endurance community go to consciousendurance.com and join that's it it's free or you, there's paid def, de, depending on um, what kind of access you're looking for um, but I will be posting something in that group and uh, about what kind of workshops that people want to do and hopefully you'll join us. Switch sides. It's more like yoga type workshops, right? <clears throat> I mean, you could do any kind, but uh, I'll switch. Actually, I probably will pull my wife in and maybe we'll do a cooking workshop too. That'd be fun. <clears throat> Opposite leg here, breathe. She can teach us how to make some shakshuka. <laughs> I just saw Bella and Stephanie. So Bella is Madison's, uh, you know, her best friend for the moment in this neighborhood. <laughs> um, and she loves Bella, and they're like, literally, their personalities could not be more similar. It's so funny. They're both very feisty, independent young women. <laughs> Good, last few breaths.
Okay, and then come on up. Bring the legs forward. There we go. Shake it out for a second. Take our seated forward bend, reach the arms up, fold down forward. You can stay there or you can roll up, roll back, take the legs up and over the head for plow. Pose. Good. From there, legs up. Legs wide, flex the feet. Bend the knees, soles of the feet together. Legs up and then down. Now we'll take our final twist, pull the right knee in, give it a good squeeze, and easy twist. And then switch sides. Same thing. And then Shavasana, final rest. Feet flop open. Shoulders down away from the ears. Eyes closed. Breath smooth. Deep inhale. And exhale. A few minutes.
Okay, you can bring your left hand to your heart center, right hand to your belly. Take a few breaths. And then slowly bend the knees, roll to your right side. Just take your time. And up to a comfortable seat. Sitting up from there. Palms up, eyes closed, a few breaths. together take a moment of gratitude gratitude for every breath namaste namaste my friends thank you very much for showing up thank you for your continued support i appreciate that stay safe stay healthy and we'll see you um, at the studio.